The CER Optima system is an efficiently designed, fully capable, compact automated endoscope reprocessor. The CER Optima is available in two different models. The CER1 Optima is capable of reprocessing one endoscope at a time, and the CER2 Optima is capable of reprocessing up to two endoscopes simultaneously. The CER1 and CER2 Optima automated endoscope disinfectors are semi-portable systems. This design allows for easy installation and movement or for permanent placement. The disinfector's portability enhances system serviceability in the unlikely event of a service requirement. A loaner can be put in place while your unit is factory repaired. Installation is relatively simple and no special skills are required. Optional items that may be included with the CER Optima are the disinfectant transfer pump, mobile transfer cart, and the vapor management system. The main components of the CER Optima installation include the CER disinfector unit, the disinfectant reservoir, and the water filtration system. The three components attach together via supplied connection tubings, which are used for the CER's water supply and drain, air filtration and chemical inlet and reservoir return. After opening the CER box, removing the installation kit will make it lighter to lift out the unit. There are numerous installation scenarios, but for the CER disinfector, let's discuss countertop and cart installations. For countertop installation, the connection hoses can hang over the side and back of the counter, or they can go through the counter. To install the CER Optima on a countertop, the counter must be a minimum of 24 inches deep from back to front and at a comfortable working height. Two 2 inch holes will need to be drilled near the back of the countertop to allow passage of the disinfectant reservoir connection hoses and also the drain hose. Two additional holes are also necessary if the water filtration system and electricity are located under the counter. One hole is for the water supply hose to the CER unit and the other is for the CER's AC power cord. Alternatively, the CER Optima can be installed on a cart which is designed to provide easy access to the disinfectant reservoir. If using the vapor management hood on the cart, then first install the VMS mounting plate onto the cart before placing the CER machine. The mounting plate is held in place by securing it to the cart using the supplied mounting hardware. Level the CER Optima unit from side to side and also from front to back. When leveling the unit, the CER's feet should start from all the way in and then rotate out as required to level the unit. Confirm the unit is fully leveled before proceeding with the installation. To install and connect up the CER Optima unit, locate the CER barcode reader and bracket. Connect the bracket to the right side of the CER using the two small Phillips head type mounting screws. Place the barcode reader into the bracket holder. Insert the barcode reader cord end into the connector labeled barcode located on the back of the CER unit. If using the vapor management hood, then the barcode bracket will not be placed onto the CER unit, but rather mounted to the right side panel of the VMS hood. The 4-foot flexible drain hose installs from the back of the CER unit labeled drain into a facility's drain pipe located at least 1 foot below the CER's drain fitting connection. The drain hose must install directly into a drain standpipe to achieve the correct system discharge flow. A dishwasher type Y drain hose cannot be used because it does not provide adequate drain flow. Make sure there are no loops or kinks in the drain hose to ensure proper drainage. If the drain hose is too long, then unscrew one of the drain hose end caps which uses a reverse thread. Cut the drain hose to the correct length, eliminating any loops or kinks, and then reattach the end cap. Next, the air filter and connection tubing will be installed. If a vapor management hood is supplied, then the air filter connection tubing must be used, which facilitates ease of filter replacement by positioning the filter under the counter or in the cart. 
In this application, simply push the white air filter tubing connector into the CER's white colored quick release fitting until it snaps in place. Confirm the air filter is attached to this tubing. If the vapor management system is not being used, then the air filter can be attached with or without the use of the air filter connection tubing. In either application, the white air filter end is always connected to the white colored connector located on the CER or on the tubing, and the blue air filter end does not connect to anything since it is the air import. Locate a roll of the Metavator supplied thermal printer paper and load it into the printer. The paper is always installed so that the leading or loose edge of the paper always comes off the top of the roll when coming out of the printer compartment. The CER Optima uses alcohol for end of cycle endoscope channel drying. To open the alcohol compartment, press in on the small door indentation and then release. The door will now pop open slightly. Open the door fully to reveal the alcohol bottle. Refill or replace the 500 milliliter bottle using only 70% ethyl alcohol or isopropyl alcohol. Make sure the drain screen cover is positioned over the CER basin drain. If shipping tape is holding it in place, then remove the tape before use. Always use this drain cover to prevent any small endoscope parts from entering or blocking the drain, which could restrict or inhibit drain flow and system performance. The CER Optima requires an incoming cold water supply connection which must include a water shutoff valve. The incoming water pressure must be between 40 and 60 PSI and provide a flow rate of 2 to 3 gallons per minute. The water filtration system is installed in line at a convenient location within 3 feet of the CER unit. The water filtration system can be mounted inside the cart or to the reprocessing room wall. Make sure to allow enough room under the water filtration system for removal of the water filter housings when filter replacement is required. To connect up the water filtration system, the stainless steel hose is connected to the CER Optima water inlet and then fed through the countertop or cart opening and attached to the 3 quarter inch hose connection of the water filtration system. Next, the incoming water supply line is attached to the water filtration system via the white colored quick connect fittings. Before turning on the incoming water supply valve, ensure the water filters are in place and the filter housings are securely tightened. Turn on the water supply and inspect for any water leakage. Now let's hook up the disinfectant reservoir. The reservoir must be located below the CER's basin to prevent disinfectant from flowing back into the basin. Locate the two reservoir connection hoses labeled chemical inlet and chemical return. Match up each right angled connection hose to the same labeled quick connect fitting located on the back of the CER disinfector. Push in on each connector hose until each one clicks into place. Then route each hose through the countertop or cart opening. Connect the remaining straight ends of the two connection hoses into the quick connect fittings located on the disinfectant reservoir. The two hoses can connect into any of the three quick connect fittings. Push them in until they click into place. The remaining third connector may have a plug inserted into it. The CER unit and the heated disinfectant reservoir are supplied with an 8 foot hospital grade removable power cord. The power cords can only be plugged into an AC power outlet having an improved GFI or ground fault interrupter. Do not use an outlet not having GFI protection. Plug the power cord securely into the power entry module located on the right side of the CER disinfector and plug the other end into the AC wall outlet. Likewise, plug the AC power cord into the disinfectant reservoir and the other end into the AC wall outlet. If using the vapor management system, place the VMS hood over the CER unit and adjust all hoses to ensure they are not pinched or crimped. Mount the barcode bracket to the side panel of the VMS hood. 
place the barcode reader into the bracket holder. To ensure correct operation of the Metavator's CER Optima endoscope reprocessor, the daily quality assurance procedure must be performed prior to the first use of the day. The CER Optima requires the QA test to be run upon power-up, or if the CER Optima is left powered on all of the time, then the QA test must be run anytime after midnight. Quality Assurance test results can be logged using the CER Optima Quality Assurance Log. System maintenance or servicing must be performed if any of the following quality assurance tests fail to give the expected results. Contact Medivator's customer support at 1-800-444-4729 for further assistance. To perform the quality assurance test, first, turn on the incoming water supply. Power on the CER Optima at the main power switch and attach a male lure lock channel connector to one basin port. Then, attach a 90 degree channel connector to all remaining basin ports. Shut off full HLD rinse and manual cycles and press start. Scan the operator's ID badge, clean the drain screen, and ensure it is in place over the drain. Verify by pressing enter. The front panel touchpad lights should be illuminated. Follow on-screen instructions and visually confirm adequate water flow. If water flow through any connector is low, then measure the volume using the male lure lock channel connector and a graduated cylinder. A minimum of 100 milliliters must be dispensed in less than 15 seconds through each port. Based on the water flow test results, press the down arrow for pass or the right arrow for fail. Follow the on-screen instructions and while holding the tubing underwater, visually confirm vigorous air bubbling through each connector basin port. Based on the airflow test results, press the down arrow for pass or the right arrow for fail. At completion of the cycle, the display screen will show cycle completed. The printer will automatically generate a printed cycle report. When filling or emptying high-level disinfectant, it is important to be wearing appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE. These items include mask, gown, gloves, and eye protection or face shield. Review the manufacturer's recommendations and guidelines on preparation and use of the high-level disinfectant. Your Medivator sales consultant can provide you with a list of recommended high-level disinfectants. This list will include, but not be limited to, Rapicide, a high-level disinfectant, with a five-minute contact time when heated to 35 degrees Celsius. Rapicide does not require activation. Other disinfectants may require heating and activation. Refer to the manufacturer's label. After the reservoir is completely filled with disinfectant, turn the disinfectant heater on. The reservoir light will now illuminate red. The CER reservoir has a built-in heater. For Rapicide, set the reservoir temperature to 39 degrees Celsius. The additional four degrees are required due to chemical cooling as it is pumped up to the CER basin during the cycle. It can take up to two hours for the disinfectant to reach the desired temperature. Verify the temperature is correct by inspecting the thermometer located in the disinfectant reservoir. Always read the reservoir thermometer to ensure the most accurate disinfectant temperature reading. The reservoir's digitally displayed temperature setting may not always be accurate. Now we will demonstrate filling the disinfectant reservoir using the transfer pump. With the heater turned off, attach the CPC quick connect tubing from the pump to the special quick release fitting on the front of the disinfectant reservoir. Put the pointed end of the tubing into the disinfectant container. Plug the transfer pump into a standard outlet. Turn the pump on. Continue to fill until the reservoir is full. After the transfer has been completed, clean the pump using clean water pumped into the sink and then air in order to flush out the pump before storage. Attach the transfer adapter to the end of the outlet tubing 
to open the valve and prevent the tubing from bursting. The CER allows for a number of different operator-controlled manual cycles to be performed. The basin to reservoir cycle transfers new HLD disinfectant into the reservoir. The HLD to drain cycle discards used HLD disinfectant to the drain. The reservoir to basin cycle transfers HLD disinfectant from the reservoir into the basin, and the basin to drain cycle discards basin fluids to the drain. The manual basin to reservoir cycle transfers disinfectant from the basin into the reservoir. First, press the manual basin to reservoir key and the light will illuminate. Pressing the start stop key begins transferring HLD disinfectant from the basin into the reservoir. The start stop light will illuminate green, the basin to reservoir key will begin blinking, and the display screen will show basin to reservoir. The CER Optima cover can be opened during the cycle, however, be careful of spraying fluids. Wearing appropriate PPE is required. At completion of the cycle, press start stop to end. The light will now turn red and the display screen will show cycle completed. The printer will automatically generate a printed cycle report if auto print is enabled, or press print to manually generate a cycle report. The cycle data is retained in the CER Optima until either the next cycle is started or until system power is shut off. Water quality can vary geographically, seasonally, and intermittently depending on a variety of factors. The filtration system filters water in a step-down fashion through a 1 micron filter then through a 0.2 micron bioretentive filter. The individual filter cartridges must be replaced every three to six months. This is indicated when the machine has increasingly longer rinse times, followed by rinse alarms as the filters become more saturated. Inspect each gauge to determine which filter to replace. The largest pressure drop is indicative of the filter that needs replacing. Water quality and water volume affects the filter cartridge's useful life. The filtration system needs to be sanitized. Follow the recommendations of your Medivator's user manual, hospital infection control policies, and national and local guidelines on sanitization. It is most efficient to replace and treat both filters at the same time. Sanitization of the water filtration system and the water lines vary depending upon whether you are manually treating the lines or if you are using a transfer pump. If the quality assurance test or QA test has not been run for the day, perform that prior to the waterline disinfection or WLD. If you attempt the WLD without running the daily QA test, the CER Optima will force you to do so. When performing manual waterline disinfection, one gallon of fresh disinfectant will be required. First, turn off the incoming water supply. Remember to wear gloves and other required PPE. Remove the water filter housings and disregard the used filters. Clean the filter housings with soap and water and rinse thoroughly. Next, place a new 0.2 micron filter into the filter housing. Be sure to insert the 0.2 micron filter with the O-ring end of the filter facing up. Lubricate the O-ring with a silicon lubricant and make sure that it sits within the groove on the top of the filter housing. Fill the housing with approximately 40 ounces of high-level disinfectant and screw the housing onto the filter assembly. Make sure the filter seats in the peg in the lid of the housing. If the filter is not properly seated, the housing will not screw into the cap properly. Filter housing should be hand-tightened only. Over-tightening may crack the housing and cause flooding. Repeat these steps for the 1 micron filter. Allow the disinfectant to soak for the time period recommended by the manufacturer of the HLD. Turn the main water supply on and check for the presence of leaks. Shut off full HLD rinse and manual cycles. Press the down arrow and waterline disinfection will be displayed. Press the right arrow and scan the operator if prompted. Once scanned or enter is pressed, the machine will display HLD into filters, press start stop. This message indicates the machine is ready to start the pumping of the disinfectant. Press start stop and the machine will display waterline disinfect, basin filling. 
Once the disinfectant is observed flowing into the basin, press start stop. This may only take a matter of seconds. The fluid will then stop flowing. The display will show waterline disinfection rapicide. The type of disinfectant displayed is based on how the machine is programmed. A timer will be counting up. This timer is for the operator's convenience to monitor the HLD contact time. Once the allotted time has elapsed, press start stop. The machine will drain the disinfectant out of the basin and then rinse the basin. The message waterline disinfect rinse will appear on the screen while it drains. Once the cycle is run, the CER Optima will briefly display waterline disinfection cycle complete. The CER Optima will print confirmation of the waterline disinfection. If the quality assurance test has not been run for the day, perform that prior to the waterline disinfection or WLD. If you attempt the WLD without running the daily QA test, the CER Optima will force you to do so. When performing waterline disinfection using the transfer pump, one gallon of fresh disinfectant will be required. First, turn off the incoming water supply. Remember to wear gloves and other required PPE. Remove the water filter housings and disregard the used filters. Clean the filter housings with soap and water and rinse thoroughly. Next, place a new 0.2 micron filter into the filter housing. Be sure to insert the 0.2 micron filter with the O-ring end of the filter facing up. Lubricate the O-ring with a silicon lubricant and make sure that it sits within the groove on the top of the filter housing. Screw the housing onto the filter assembly. Make sure the filter seats in the peg in the lid of the housing. If the filter is not properly seated, the housing will not screw into the cap properly. Filter housing should be hand tightened only. Over tightening may crack the housing and cause flooding. Repeat these steps for the 1 micron filter. Set up the transfer pump by attaching the two hoses to the pump. The pump inlet hose will have the long plastic pipe which is to be inserted into the disinfectant bottle. Next, disconnect the water supply hose from the inlet of the water filter. The pump outlet hose will then connect to the inlet of the water filter. Shut off full HLD rinse and manual cycles. Press the down arrow and waterline disinfection will be displayed. Press the right arrow and scan the operator if prompted. Once scanned or enter is pressed, the machine will display HLD into filters, press start stop. This message indicates the machine is ready to start the pumping of the disinfectant. Press start stop and the machine will display waterline disinfect, basin filling. Turn the transfer pump on to begin pumping disinfectant into the filters and water lines. Once disinfectant is observed coming into the basin, press start stop on the CER Optima and turn the transfer pump off. Disconnect the outlet hose of the transfer pump from the supply inlet of the water filter housing and reconnect the water supply to the water filter. The display will show waterline disinfection rapicide. The type of disinfectant displayed is based on how the machine is programmed. A timer will be counting up. This timer is for the operator's convenience to monitor the HLD contact time. Once the allotted time has elapsed, press start stop. The machine will drain the disinfectant out of the basin and then rinse the basin. The message Waterline Disinfect Rinse will appear on the screen while it drains. Once the cycle is run, the CER Optima will briefly display Waterline Disinfection Cycle Complete. The CER Optima will print confirmation of the Waterline Disinfection. Upon successful CER Optima installation and verification of proper operation and performance, the system is now ready for in-service training. If any part of the installation or QA testing did not pass, contact Medivator's technical support for further assistance. With proper use, care, and maintenance, the Medivator's CER Optima system will provide many years of service. This can only be assured through the use of Medivator's qualified parts, consumables, and services. 
Contact your Medivators representative for further details and information.